In this video, I'm going to explain the overview of the account determination for sales and distribution. And I will also explain how to configure the financial accounts for the first financial entry we have in the process when we post a goods issue. And as usual, if you would like to know the exact details I'm going to explain in the video, you can check the video chapters in the description and you can also click on any link to go directly to the point you are interested in. Before we start, I want to say thank you to everyone who decided to support the channel by joining the channel membership program. Thanks to you, I am now able to spend more time in making more videos for this channel. And I have also created some member exclusive videos and I arranged all of them in a playlist. So I will leave you a link to the playlist here. You can check it to see all the member exclusive videos. And to anyone else who is interested in supporting the channel, you can do so by joining the channel membership program. I will leave you a link in the description. As explained in the order to cash business process overview, we mainly have two financial entries. First, when we post a goods issue, and the second is when we post the billing document. For the goods issue financial entry, we have a debit to the cost of goods sold account and a credit to the inventory or the stock account. And there are some cases when we actually don't post directly to the cost of goods sold, but instead we post into an intermediary account, and then we post the cost of goods sold only when we do the billing document. But this is not the standard configuration. So for now, let's just consider the standard one, which is a debit to cost of goods sold and a credit to the inventory account. Now, this financial entry follows exactly the same configuration as account determination for materials management. So the accounts are determined based on the valuation class and the material master data and the configuration we maintain in OBYC. And if you didn't understand what I just said, then you can check the playlist I created on account determination for materials management. I explained everything in details. So check the playlist. The cost of goods sold account is maintained under OBYC, GBB, transaction VAX, and the inventory account is maintained under OBYC, BSX. And this is all regarding the financial entry for goods issue. Now regarding the second financial entry we have in the process when we post billing, we mainly have two financial accounts. We have a debit to the customer or the accounts receivable account, and we have a credit to the sales revenue account. And usually we also have other accounts in the same financial entry, such as taxes, the sales discounts, and any accrual the conditions we have in the sales process, such as rebates. And I will explain in detail what this is later. Now regarding the customer or the accounts receivable account, this is coming from the reconciliation account we maintained in the customer master data. And yes, I already explained everything related to the reconciliation accounts in other videos before. So I will leave you a link here. You can check them to understand what is a reconciliation account and how can we configure it and maintain it in the master data of the customers and vendors. Regarding all the other accounts we have in the financial entry when we post the billing document, this is where we need to learn how to configure the account determination for sales and distribution. And this is what I'm going to explain starting the next video. So if you are interested, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell so you are notified when the next videos are published. Also, don't forget to leave me your comments on this video. Let me know if you want me to add anything to the process I'm going to explain. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.